Kicking It With Ken is sponsored by AE Door and Window. We're kicking it, Kenny, this morning. And yes. now the, the warmer weather, uh, as of late, even with the rain out there, yeah. has us thinking about the joys of spring, including maybe your favorite ice cream spot. Yeah, so here this morning, we're talking about a Northern Kentucky ice cream shop that just held a grand reopening last month. That is where we find our very own Ken hey, kicking it behind the counter. What's going on? I tell you, I'm so pumped to be in an ice cream store with the rain coming down. Hopefully some of the sugar can wake me up. So we're at Dreamy Whip in Burlington. For you folks who don't know the Cincinnati, that's on the other side of Florence. Look at this cool counter. They made this. You know those epoxy videos that you get bored and you're just staring at your phone? Well, anyways, they made this bad boy. David, first of all, since I mentioned, uh, how long did it take you guys to make this? Uh, a very long time. I think uh, three nights total because we had to glue the actual caps down first. And then it was when we were closed one evening, we did the final pour. So was it one of those things where you're like, God, why did we decide to do this? Because it was uh, just 100% so because oh, we were <laughs> we were using <laughs> blow dryers. We were using everything because you have to get all the bubbles out. So all right, ice cream, Dreamy Whip. Tell yep. me, what, what's the story behind it? So we started in 2019 as a food truck or a trailer, should I say? Um, started with just an idea. Um, it was my wife's idea to open up an ice cream shop in this area, and I thought it's going to take a lot of cones to make a lot of money. So. Um, to be able to justify it. So we started as a trailer. Um, the response was just tremendous. Um, the public came out. They really showed their support. And then in 2020, we opened the store location. All right, and since cool. we've taken off. While we're doing it, we're going to speak yep. it. We're going to make some cones. Yep. So how does this work, waffle cones? So our waffle cones are made in-house um, almost daily to keep up with demand. So they're mm -hmm. fresh waffle cones. So we've got our batter. Um, so we're going to dump our batter in here. Like all this? Yep. All right, cool. Boom. This is a half batch. So we Half batch. Bit. And then we got our pre-portioned water oh, here. All right, whole thing? Yep, whole thing. Whoop. And then we're just gonna mix. Mix, mix, mix. So, a lot of people might be saying, "There's a lot of ice cream shops in Cincinnati. Why is your ice cream better than theirs?" Um, I, it's not about being better. We love the other ice cream shops. We support them. I think I was at one last night getting a milkshake, actually. Huh. Um, but we we just believe in a unique experience. From the second you come in the door, uh, we have unique flavors that are unique to us that change weekly. Um, so each and every week we will rotate our flavors out. We're always going to have the standard chocolate vanilla and we've got some dairy free options for the people that need to be dairy free. So. Is that good? Uh, it'll pass for now. All right. Well, <laughs> it'll pass. We'll leave that there. 1030. We're making cones. All right. Let's go. Let's talk about ice cream. And I was very truthful with you. I'm not a fan. I, ice cream's just not my favorite thing. I ate so much as a kid. Hold on. How's this work? So, <laughs> all right. So we got chocolate vanilla. We got swirl. What do you think we should do swirl? Let's do a swirl. We'll yeah, see how pretty right it looks middle, okay. okay. You going to pull a hand Yeah, do I pull it out? You pull or? it just slowly. Pull it, no, pull straight down. It's just slowly. Ah, okay. Right right of oh. course. <laughs> okay. Boom. All right. Cool. <laughs> I'll give this a sample. Let's see. Is it it's, creamy? It's like a, yeah, it's like a milkshake. It's, it is, it's good. <laughs> Maybe you'll make me an ice cream lover. Here, Here I'll, I'll take this one for you. And then you have this fancy stuff called Dole, Dole Whip. Whip. Dole Whip. So, um, so it, we have di tons of different flavors. Right now we have our strawberry and our lemon. Okay. Um, and so this is an ice cream, right? It is an ice cream. It's going to be vegan free, or sorry, it's, it's for vegan people uh, that need to be vegan, um, dairy free. It is a water-based product. Um, not healthy by any means because it's got a lot of sugar in it, but for those people that need to be conscious with dairy, um, for me, it this is, is a great good. alternative. Dan so. Wells, he told me, he got excited. He was like, oh my God, you've got to try their Dole Whip. Delicious. All right. Yeah, the pineapple is pretty, pretty good, mm -hmm. especially with like a chocolate hard shell on it. Yeah. If, if you like chocolate covered fruit. This is like perfect. Super good. Super good. If you don't like ice cream, like I don't, come get this Dole Whip. Anything we should know before we go back in the studio? Uh, we're open now. Uh, we opened back up in February and uh, we've got our. Um, uh, I guess we talk about our March Madness, right? Well, we gotta wait. Yeah. Let's do that at 10:30. Oh, oh we're gonna do that at 10:30. Okay, yes. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Frank Jordan, you know the only thing I didn't like about working in an ice cream shop was that you had to work on Sundays. Oh. oh. Well, welcome, welcome to the oh Sundays. You did it, you did it? Oh, on Sunday. Good. Let's go. That oh, was gosh. Sundays. Thank you, Kenny, for the dad jokes. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know. I was like, but we work on Sundays I he too was here. Be super.